Today in this video, we're going to talk about separating your audio and your video files from PowerPoint. And if you find this content useful, be sure to like it so you can get similar content from YouTube sent to you. Share to include others and subscribe so that you can be notified of future videos from this channel. We discussed earlier how to embed music into your PowerPoint presentation. So be sure and see the video adding music to PowerPoint. That was well and good as an introduction. It is neat and will work for most simple presentations. It's a little more involved to manage the volume and there's no adjustments on the songs that are embedded into, into the presentation. You get what you have. You really can't lengthen it or change it. So really in this video, there's nothing to learn, but it's more of a mind concept or a mindset. So in this arena of using PowerPoint, live streaming, commercial production and other areas, we found out that separate is better. You have more control over the individual pieces than if you try to combine items. And it also aids in troubleshooting. However, the additional equipment does come at a cost. More oversight and more understanding of the different components and how it all ties into your main program or hardware. I would tell you that a few years ago, I finally migrated from using PowerPoint with embedded music to using PowerPoint with the following. Windows Media Player, Windows Movies and TV Player, an outboard MP3 player, an outboard cell phone, and even a second computer. The result was a smoother, simpler, and known operation. And so why did I do that? Well, PowerPoint has a limit, or at least it used to have a limit of about 30 megabytes per song. So that does not allow for long songs. You gotta really manage that particular aspect of your music embedding. There's so many music formats out there, PowerPoint can reject a song based on a word format. The additional music makes your file larger, which you know we've talked about how to handle that. And there's more control with external devices, like a small mixer or even a large mixer. Plus there are visual displays of audio levels and other available songs that you can use at a moment's notice. So as I said, it's more of a mindset than a procedure. And doing it outboard, you can handle playlist changes, you know, at the last minute. Someone, maybe someone wants to add a song or change out a song that you had, you're very easily done. You just switch to the other song and you're done without having to go to the program and delete it and reinstall the next one. And, you know, as you can see, it can be a hassle. It also allows for background music. Say you wanted to play an album or a CD of someone, PowerPoint probably will not handle multiple songs easily. And what you need is essentially a plug I'm sorry, a cable with an eighth inch plug on each end to go into the PC and to the phone. And if you're using, I say phone, phone, MP3 player or mixer or another computer. If it's a mixer, it may need a quarter inch plug and we're showing an adapter here now. But be aware with the phones over the past couple of years, it may need a USB-C type of adapter to get into your phone for the audio. So just check it out before your event and make sure you have the right adapter. And last but not least, you can see other songs that are available from your list of songs. So that's been it for separating your audio and video. Uh, we're gonna have another video coming out about having video set up in a, in a queue versus in PowerPoint. It's just you can manage it better the same way, whether it's an audio file or a video file.
whether it's an audio file or a video file, the process goes the same for both. You can just manage it better if outside of PowerPoint. Once you get used to it and get some practice, then if you had everything embedded into PowerPoint. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment field, or you can always email me and we can help you walk through this. It, it's a little more work, a little more equipment to begin with, but once you do it, it's, it's easy. I do it all the time now. I let PowerPoint do its thing, and then I do all the music and video outside of PowerPoint. And we're finding out the same thing in our church live stream that separation is better than trying to have one program do two or three operations at the same time. Thank you much. Happy PowerPointing. We'll see you on the next video.